All right, this one is a 4 off 70 w out of a 2001, uh, it's like an E150 van. And this actually leads back under the warranty period uh, because this has a, a like a bind up on the two to three shift. Uh, it makes a good one two shift. Uh, it is okay in low and reverse is okay. So I think what we're gonna be dealing with here is um, right behind the pump is the intermediate clutch and also with that is uh, like the intermediate diode all right I believe that that part has failed and, and it's locked it's not you know it should be like a spray free wheel one way and work and lock the other way here I have one here so like this here it free wheels one way and it locks the other way. And I have a feeling that this part had failed uh, because that needs to freewheel. That diode, or if it was an early one to have a spray, it needs to freewheel in third and fourth gear. And if it can't, then it's, it's more than likely going to cause a bind up. Um, all right, so what we're going to do, we'll know in a few minutes I'm going to get a little closer, take the pump bolts out, pull the pump out, and the drum is right there. All right, and then we're gonna have to uh, just take the uh, gear train out and check the clutches because there is a, a bit of a burn smell. I don't think it's gonna be uh, too bad, but we're gonna check it out. So I'm gonna get a little closer and we're gonna pull the pump out just to confirm that uh, that diode is no good. All right, so um, I'll be back in two minutes and we'll start with that. All right, so let's pull these uh, bolts out here. Gasket, be very careful. All right, I'm going to pull the intermediates. Okay, these look good. band. Uh, let's see. Okay. okay. And this diode is locked up. All right, let me uh, face this camera down a little bit. Okay, 100%, this thing failed. Can't even turn it. And that's what it should. That's what it should be. Okay, also, <clears throat> these, uh, this has a spiral lock on it that I put. They, they come through with this, with this clip when you, you know, when it's never been worked on before. Or actually some people may not even change that. Um, but these things tend to pop out a lot. So I replace it, uh, Sonics or uh, 
even superior makes a, a spiral lock so you put the uh, you put the piece on and then you put the spiral lock on you know the spiral clip on and it kind of sits inside here and it doesn't let it open up so this one on here and I'm gonna ruin that taking that off okay so that's definitely the problem but let's see now it smells like the fluid has a little bit of a burn smell to it so let's check the clutches out here okay here's the shell some gear and shift Here is the little anti rattle clip. I'm going to go back in. I will take the center support out. Center support. There's the planet. There's the hub. Okay. Here is third. Right, so let's check it out. are a little, a little uh, singed here. Steels are okay, but we're gonna put a new set in, not another set in. Not bad, see that they're bad on one side and, and you know, okay on the other, but we're gonna change them out. Reverse band is good. Okay, not too bad. Just uh, take the uh, output sensor. Good, no ring grooves. When the case pushing, case pushing rides here, and when the case pushing goes bad, you know it'll tend to the shaft will lay down, and it'll tend to groove out the case with these three rings here. You can always get the case sleeved or get another case, whatever you prefer. 
But all right, so I had a feeling this was the problem. See if we can get this thing out. Okay. I gotta find where the end is so I can take this clip out. able to probably save this. Alright, this is the lock and clip. Dio comes right off. This thing is totally locked up. Can't really take it apart, but you know there's springs and whatever in there. But looks like that piece failed. And again, that's what it should be. So, um, you know, maybe we'll just uh, take this thing down the rest of the way. Uh, let me just kind of get set up. We'll take the pan down, pull the uh, valve body off and, and stuff like that. Maybe I'll throw the case in the tank, just clean it. Well, it doesn't really take too long. All right, so just give me a minute. Let me uh, get set up for that. All right, so we'll pull the uh, extension housing off. Gasket. All right, so now we'll uh, just take the pan down and the Stoller actually had the pan down and ready to drain it. There is some fluid, but not much. Taking the uh, internal harness, which is like a uh, circuit board kind of harness. These actually uh, do go bad a lot. All right, now we're gonna need a uh, eight millimeter to take all these bolts out here.
Okay. Pull these servos out. We're able to save most of the fluid, you know, this is whatever is left here. You know, we drain the converter out. I guess that's why he dropped the pan. The fluid really didn't look that bad. Okay, one, two, accumulator. skinny wrench here that I use for the linkage on these. Well, you know what? I have to take the roll pin. I just don't like to get in there and just change the part. I just don't like to double check everything, make sure it's good. I mean, it really doesn't take that long to do. And I'm just going to wash the case up and get everything nice and clean. Alright, the park. Parking pole and rod and spring. EPC solenoid. Just got to get the reverse. You know, if this thing like would have been starting out in second or something like that, I would say we got an issue with the uh, uh, maybe with the intermediate clutch. You know, not releasing for some reason, but everything looked good. No issues in manual low. No issues in. Uh, uh, reverse, and you know, it's really nothing else that it could be. period and anything questionable uh, will be changed. All right, so this case is stripped down complete.
you know, let me just uh, get rid of this oil here and stuff like that and give me a few minutes. I will be right back. All right, so we'll just check these uh, frictions real quick and that's really about it. I have it these, everything looks good. Actually, you know what, this one. Yeah, these aren't too bad. This one looks a little uh, dark, so I'll probably change that one, which I have. And let's check forwards. Everything looks good there. All right, so we just stack those back up again. Just put them here for now. All right, so again, 2001 4L70W out of an E150 van. Uh, this is back under the warranty period. And what we found is this mechanical diode here is completely locked up. So I'm going to swap it out with one that I had. And I'm going to change out the direct frictions. Uh, I'm going to put a new set of clutches only in that. Uh, and really just put this back together. But I'm going to clean everything up first. I'm going to run a case through the tank just so everything's nice and clean when I go back for assembly. Um, and that's it. So I thank you guys for watching a uh, video on this 4L70W with this 2-3 bind up. And have a great day. We'll see you next one.